What's happening, folks? It's been a while since I put a video on my YouTube channel. But a friend of mine the other day on uh, Facebook asked me, he was looking at my fence post photos that I post almost on a daily basis on my Instagram and uh, on my Facebook. And he says, uh, he says, how do you get your edge so shiny? I said, well, I do it when I'm sharpening on my KME system. And he says, well, I got a KME system. He says, can you show me how to do it? I said, well, I said, I got, I can make you some videos on it and send them to you uh, through Facebook Messenger. But, you know, Facebook Messenger only lets you do like uh, so much, like two minute videos and that's it. You know, you can't do it hardly any that long because it'll kick it out, you know, and say it won't do it. So uh, wound up being, once I started sharpening it on my, on my KME, it wound up being 28 minutes, or I'm sorry, 28 videos. Uh, the first one, one of them being as long as two minutes and 10 seconds, the sort of would be in with like 58 seconds or something like that. But anyway, it's 28 videos. And, uh, and I sent them all to him on Facebook Messenger. And so, but my way of sharpening is not the end all be all way of sharpening. There is no end all be all way of sharpening. Everybody's always improving on something. And um, for me, I just, I started, once I got my KME system, uh, Brian Patrick Spraley, uh, he works with KME. He's, uh, I got in tight with him, you know, talking with him about the KME and, all, and how, how to use it and that kind of things. And and then uh, Sean Snyder, you know, he's got his uh, his Blades and Fades uh, YouTube channel. He does a lot of sharpening on his KME. And then Ryan Acevedo, uh, who doesn't have a KME, working on that <laughs> but he does a jam up job of sharpening let me tell you what he's the one that gave me what i call ryan's recipe on that what i use now for sharpening my knives and it's a progression of stones that i use and and the technique that i use and so uh, thanks to ryan uh, that's where i'm at right now so but anyway but those three guys really helped me out and i kind of wanted to help out uh this guy and uh, it's Jeremy Kelly and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, 50 minutes long. If you don't watch all of it, it's okay. <laughs> watch it later. <laughs> So here's here's my KME right here. Um, as you can tell, obviously it's got the the 3D printed uh, handle and the uh, the clamp knob, and of course the clamp tension knob and the angle knob. And that's all that I had done. Oh, I'm sorry. And my, as far as my rod holder or my stone holder, you see that little hole right there? Well, it sort of coincides with that screw right there, because when you get this from my Eric. This thing will slide over your existing stone holder or you know existing one, and you basically take these uh, your drill bit and just start a little hole, little pilot hole kinda, and put these uh, screws in there. Well, I went a little bit too happy, and it my drill came out the other end. But for the most part, I mean, it doesn't doesn't bother it. And also, these come with a magnetic strip built in, so if you get like your angle cube's got a magnetic strip, it sticks to it. So you ain't got to worry about getting a little piece of metal and gluing it on here like I had to do on my other one just to get this to stick. And so um, as far as the stones go, um, now, I, you know, I had, these came with my KME. Everybody, you know, the diamond, well, let me move this out of the way before I cut myself. You know, these are regular stones, KME Gold Series stones. It's the 140 grit, and then it goes to 300, and then the... 600 and then the 1500 and i also got for reprofiling well i didn't get the beast but i got the 100 grit you know so i don't use these anymore what i use now are let me get this out of the way are these which are i i don't know if i'm going to pronounce this from this v-e-n pronounce this from this v-e-n V-U-E, like Vin, Vin Vu or Vinive or something like that. I'm not sure. But these are the Cerberus stones, and they're double-sided. Now, you'll see right here it says F80 right there. It says F80 and F150. F80 is up here with the arrow. F150 is down here with the arrow. Now, Ryan Acevedo told me that you basically just ignore the F, ignore all this, and just look at the number. 
This is like, a, this is almost like an 80 grit, a 150 grit, all right? What's on the other side? I don't know what all these numbers mean either. <laughs> all I know is this is like 80 right here, 150 right here. And then the next sequence that I got is this one. See, this one shows F240 and F400. F240 up here with the arrow, F400 down here. You just flip them over, all right? And you can feel it, you can feel the difference. And then right here is this one is the F800 and then F1200 down here, F800 up here. So it's like 800, 1200 grit. And these are really smooth. Now, once I get done with these, cause I, I use all three of these. I'll, I'll start with, like I said, I'll start with the 80 grit right here and I'll do what I need to do with it and flip it over. Um, use this one right here, use this side, just keep going until I, I don't hardly ever use the 1200. I'll just, I'll stop at the 800. And then I go with these, what's called, these are Columbia Gorge Stoneworks. They're like a, a diamond resin. I don't know what all they, what they are, but they're extremely smooth, really smooth. And um, I use these. Now you'll notice these right here are like, look how thin these are compared to these. See the difference? And I think it's the same way with these KME stones. I think these KME stones might be smaller. Making a video, babe. Making a video, babe. They are small. I gotta go pick up Bryce at 9.30. These are a little bit smaller. You see there? So, <laughs> so you basically have to compensate when you use these. You get done with these. You've got your angle set where you want it right here. You know, you're, you're doing your angle and everything like that. But then when you put these in here, it's gonna be a little bit off. So what I do is once I put these in my stone holder, let me go ahead and put one in there and I'll show you. I put these in my stone holder and I've already gotten all the way past, you know, my 800, 800 grit and all that. I've already got that done and I've got it even on both sides and everything's going nice and smooth and I'm getting ready to go to this. Uh, this is a 10 micron. It's like, it's almost like 10 microns of gunny juice on here, basically. And uh, you don't have to load them or anything. And what I do is I'll, I'll leave it where it's at, or I'll actually, I'll adjust it. I'll take my uh, Sharpie again and I'll put another edge, I'll put another mark on it, on the edge. And then I'll adjust this. I'll move, I might move it down a little bit and then start using this right here on it and see what takes off, which one, you know, if it starts taking off all the Sharpie, then I'll leave it right where it's at. And I'll use this until I'm done with it. And then I'll go to my five micron, which is right here. And then once I'm done with the five micron, then I start stropping. And I've got these kangaroo strops right here. These are kangaroo leather strops, and they are this, almost the same thickness as these Columbia Gore Stoneworks. You see there's kangaroo leather. I gotta redo these, by the way. Kangaroo leather, has got the gunny juice on them. It's loaded with gunny juice. But it's, you know, thickness is about the same. So I don't have to make any adjustments. So when I run these things down there, oh my God, man, it shines. The, my God, man, it shines the crap out of this edge. It, that's what gives me the mirror edge. So what I'm gonna do, I gotta go, like I told my wife earlier, I gotta go pick up my son from work. When I get back, I'm gonna video, nah, I'll go ahead and do this all the way up to uh, my 800 grit. I'm sorry, I'll do it all the way, yeah, I'll do it all the way up to the 800 grit and then I'll show you what I do to compensate with these and then I'll show you the strop real quick and you'll see the difference. But right now, this is where it's at. This is basically brand new, never been sharpened. I just got this not too long ago, actually. Never been sharpened. And so you'll see the difference. So I'll be right back a little bit. Like I said, let me go run. I'm gonna send this to you. Um, I might have to break, I'm gonna break it up into parts because Facebook Messenger doesn't like any message or videos over like two minutes. So I'll break it up into parts and send it to you. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so uh, it's about 2.25 in the morning. Uh, I couldn't sleep, so I said, you know what, I'll get up and just start uh, recording this video, you know, for uh, for Mr. Jeremy. And uh, so here we go. So like I say, we're gonna start out with the, uh, the 80. And uh, what I do is I make a, like a couple of scrubbing motions up and down, back and forth, just so I get that good burr all the way from the heel all the way to the tip. So here we go. And it shouldn't take long with that maximum, I mean, with that uh, 80 grit stone. 
So we will find out and just, I like to usually, I like to go to the tip from the heel and then back to the heel, like go from the heel to the tip and then back to the heel and then stop. And then I feel it. See, I don't really feel much right now. Feel it right there. That's about it. But the cool thing about it is, though, is if you don't feel a burr all the way, you know, it's, it's, it's not like it's over. Just flip it over and do that other side, and eventually you'll start getting the burr. And then once you get that burr, that's when you can do away with it. But I'll show what I'm talking about. I might have to do that in this instance. So, so what we got, one minute and 22 seconds to keep me from having to uh, cut this thing up in parts and everything. I'm just going to stop it and start it back again. So right now we're at 132. So I'll just do it and get about 150, I guess. Let's keep it going. Let's try that. Let's stop it. Here we go. Here we go. Picking it back up. So uh, still feeling for a burr. I'm still not feeling I'm feeling a little bit more prominent right here on the towards the tip now it's not that much for it on the head on the head a heel I guess heel sorry my knife uh nomenclature's a little off right now man whatever the parts and the names of the blade the heel the tip the belly the bevel the edge you know the ricasa I didn't know that's what that was was a ricasa I mean, what does it do? <laughs> what does it recosse? What does it recose? I guess you can say. Oh, do you see what I'm doing with this thing with my KME? Instead of uh, instead of me moving the the stone, I'm basically turning using my feet, using my my hand to turn this, just like that. That's basically what I'm doing. So, I mean. Nobody told me to do that. I'd never seen anybody do that. I just, you know, it just, I don't know. It's just one of those things that just happened. I don't, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just something that I picked up and it's just a habit I got now to turn it. But there's always going to be that one person that says, oh, you shouldn't be doing it like that. It's going to cause your bevel to be uneven and your recoss is going to be pushed back to the tip and your screws are going to be messed up. You know, some bullshit like that. So. <laughs> Worthless stuff. Anyway, see what we got. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now we can flip it over. Still going to get me a little bit more um, of a burr before I actually start doing what I need to do. And so we're going to stop it right here and pick it up for part three. There we go. <laughs> oh, you hear that? You can hear the difference. So I'm running over that burr. Ooh. I may not have to do that to flip it back over again to get a burr. I may just could flip it over to get rid of the burr and just keep going like that because that's where it's, ooh, watch out, Brian. That's where it changes on how I do it. How I do the stone, I should say. Oh, shit, I did it again. Not paying attention. I'm trying to look at the phone, the camera side of the phone, see how it looks. I lost it, so. That's okay. We're back. We got it. I'm going to finger up like that. Make sure I don't feel a burr on this side. But, oh, yeah. I got it right there. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. All right. So, now here's what I do. Instead of scrubbing it up and down, I just go up. I just do sweeping motions up. And I'll do like, uh, I do odd numbers. So, I'll go to like 11 flip it over do 11 on the other side flip it over do nine flip it over do nine you'll see all right here we go so we got one two three you see what i'm doing going sweeping up four and lifting it off five. i'm not coming back down with it i'm just going straight up you know it's like the opposite of stropping what about six seven eight nine ten 11 i will do one for a good measure <laughs> flip it over do 11 and then i'll stop recording Start another one. All right, so here we go, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Right. Okay, so we just finished up with 11 on both sides. 
And I can still feel that bird right there. But that's all right, it'll go away. All right, now we're gonna do nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's because I always stay with odd numbers. I don't know why. Like I said, nobody told me to do it that way. It's just something that I do. It's just like a room. It's just like something that helps me remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to do seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Basically what you're doing, which I'm pretty sure you already know, is you're developing a scratch pattern for the 80 grit. You're developing a scratch pattern and also at the same time, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Also, you're... Uh, Believe it or not, you're actually shining it up at the same time. You see how it's getting a little bit shinier? You might not be able to, yeah, you can see it. It's right there. It's getting a little bit shinier. So now we do five. One, two, three, four, and five. Flip her over. Now that new KME they got out, you ain't gotta take the stone, you ain't gotta take the rod holder out. Either or stone, you just keep it in there, you just move it out of the way. Just so you can flip it over. One, two, three, four. And five, because this one, well, you no, it's aggravating. It's too, 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 uh, flimsy, I guess you could say. Was that five? Here we go, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit, that was three. It's supposed to be three. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I finished up on five on this side, so I need to start with three because I always, I always start with my blade pointing to the left. Always. It's another thing that I do. Nobody told me to do it that way. I think that's an OCD thing myself. <laughs> so I think that's supposed to be three that I just did, which we'll go ahead and say I did, but I, I know I did four, but we're gonna call it three. It ain't gonna really matter, just that one extra is not gonna matter. So we we'll go one, two, three. I don't know, you're probably saying, well, what if it don't matter? Why does it, why didn't you do it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> OCD again. All right, here we go. One, just one on that side and one on this side. And then I'll get my alcohol. And my little rag right here. If I find my alcohol, what I do with it? It's probably behind me. Let me see, hold on a second. It's a spray bottle. Oh, yep, there it is. Got it. Spray bottle. And I always use 91%. Use 91% alcohol when I clean my knives, you know, like take them apart, clean the washers and the liners and all that. I always use 91%. I don't know why. I just figured, you know, with 91%. It's a lot more, a lot better. You know, 91% is better than 70%, you know? I don't know, but, but I'll clean it up like this, clean it off a little bit, flip it over. Now, where am I at? 120? Uh, I have a little time I can show you this. Okay, this, this right here is mineral oil. Mineral oil, you can buy it in the uh, drugstore, whatever, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy, whatever. It's mineral oil. Now, I use it on these stones because you see see on this stone house got a, it's already got the, the the coloration on it that's all that metal shape that's all that metal and stuff here look i'll show you look at it on my finger see it shiny yep okay all right now watch this when i put some mineral oil on it mineral oil just a little bit like that and just rub it in with my finger but watch what it does it lifts that stuff right off of it you can see it getting lifted right off hold on a second i'll show it to you once i get it there it goes. So that's turning into like a gray slushy kind of thing. That's all that stuff coming up. And then I grab my little little cloth right here and just wipe it off. Now it may leave you a little bit of oil on there, but that's okay. It'll be all right. But that's it. So I just took all that shit off. Some people use a magic eraser and dish soap. That's fine. Either way, each is on. Now I just take it and just flip it over because now I'm going to do 150. Whoop, there's 150. All right. So this has been cleaned with alcohol right here. This is clean right here. We got it on the left hand side. So let's start scrubbing until we get a burr. They'll tell, some people say that once you go past your first initial stone to get your burr, you don't have to get a burr every time with every stone. Some people say you do, some people say you don't. I've done it both ways. And honestly, I can't tell a damn bit of difference. Both the edges lasted the same, uh, you know, same sharpening, 
everything. It'll do the same. So what I do is I just scrub it until I do get a burr. Or what I'll do, I'll just go up this way. Just go up one time this way, up and down. One time back. And then I'll do one time again. Up. And one time back. And then I'll stop. And if I feel a burr, that's fine. If I don't, then I'll flip it anyway. Speaking of flipping. Next. Now, let's see. Look at there. I got a burr. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because once you get that first initial burr, you think of the higher grits, like 150, 240, 400, 800, you wouldn't get a burr. You do. You still get a burr. And actually, it happens a lot faster. I don't know why, but it does. So here we go. Now we're going to go up and down on this one. We're going to do it same time, like two times or one time up, one time back, one time up, one time back, one time up, one time back, one time up, one time back. And that's it. Now we got that. Now we can flip it over. And when I flip it over, I'm going to start my 11 times and then nine, 11, nine, seven, five, three, and one. So there's 11. One, two, three, four. I feel like I'm exercising. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. You see that? Look at this. See how it's getting shinier already? And I'm just on 150. I've still got four, three or four grits to go, dude. Not to mention striping. And or the and the Columbia Gorge Stone Guards or whatever. Columbia Gorge Stoneworks. That's it. One. Two, three, four. Two freaking thirty in the morning. Normal people sleep. What do crazy people do? Sharpen knives. Not necessarily crazy, but you see how shit to do. Was that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven? There's eleven. All right, so at one one forty seven one fifty. Here we go. I just thought about something. You get the idea of how I'm doing this. This is the way I do it with each of my stones. I do it with the 80, 150, 240, 400, 800. And then I stop with the stones and I jump on the Columbia Gore Stoneworks, which are those smooth ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish all this up, get all the way done, my, done to my 1800 or my 800. Once I'm done with the 800, I'm gonna take the 800 off and put that Columbia Gore Stoneworks on there and I'm gonna show you how I compensate you know, for the, remember I talked about the degrees, got to like move it maybe up or down because the Columbia Gore Stoneworks, the little bar or stone slab or whatever is thinner than this. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Finish this up, get done with 800, and then I'll start another one with the Columbia Gore Stoneworks. All right, I'm done with the 800 and I wanna show you, this is how shiny I got it with just all the way to the 800 on both sides. Now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you put that Columbia Gore Stoneworks on there without changing the angle. So, let's see what this thing will do. All right, so, go ahead and put our little Sharpie on here. Turn a little headlamp on so I can see better. Sharpie right there. A little sharpie right there. Get out of the way. All right, I got the Columbia Core Stoneworks. This is the 10 micron. Now watch, this is where I've got this thing set at, okay? I got it, now I don't usually go by, like if this is actually 20 degrees. I, my, my angle cube will show it at like 15, but I just go by because of the numbers and the lines. That's where I move everything to. So I use the numbers and the lines. So right now it's on 20. Let me show you what happens. If I try to get this off without changing the angle. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you where it takes it off at. It's taking the bottom half off. Can you see it? It's taking the bottom half off, leaving the top half. So I've done this enough already to know that all I gotta do is just drop it down. And I'll drop it down to uh, the line right below the 20 and watch what happens. We'll drop it down right below the line below the 20, right about there. There's a line below the 20 right there. 
Tighten her up. Get my alcohol and I'm gonna take this back off because I want a fresh line just to make sure I'm getting it all, you know what I mean? So, well, when I say fresh line, I mean it's fresh Sharpie line. So, all right, so we got, got that wiped off. Get that out of the way. Now we got my little Sharpie again. I've already moved the angle down. And I'm not paying attention to the time. 